I just don't like ignorant motherfuckers. Who does, you know? I'm just tired of it. I'm already exhausted, you know? There's so many things that have to do in life, you know? And then, and then you gotta swim through some ignorant statement or comment. It's like, should I stop to explain to this person why they shouldn't be saying this? Or should I just get my fucking burger and leave? like a struggle. I go through this, you know? And look, I'm a heavy set dude. I got the blood sugar, you know? I need that burger, you know? I don't need the bullshit, you know? But, but I need the burger, so then I gotta weigh the options. I really gotta have nothing to do. But even that's not true. I was at a funeral once, and this lady was like, do you know where your people are from? Like the slave ship that your people came off of? And I was at a funeral for my uncle. So I had the time to go through the bullshit, but I was like, mm, I don't think there's enough space in the coffin. That's Senegal, y'all. AKA Joshua Clark, the comedian. It's a true story. lifelong goal. A gig where I sit down all the way through the gig. It's the gentleman sitting over here who suggested that we should all wear earth tones. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. He agreed, he agreed with earth tones, right? He sent the email, the email came from him. It said earth tones. And he shows up in a t-shirt covered in popsicles and fruit. I mean, the fruit comes from the earth. What in the fuck? The popsicle sticks all the way from the earth. <laughs> this is Vincent Steven on, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. Great! With the saxophone and the music and the band and all the organization and all that stuff, terrible! With this type of shit right here. That's Vincent Steven on. The fuck is that shirt? <laughs> I swear I just put that shirt on my son like last week. He's fine. He's fine. You're a grown ass man. I took it off of him. I did, and that shirt looks good. Shit. Give me that shirt on my son. You're crazy. You strong. You know what I said? In the, you know what I said in the comedy show yesterday? I said uh, I grew up in Colton Ash. You come for the roaches, you stay for the crack cocaine. Is that bad? Is that bad? I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry. I grew up in Colton Ash. I love the neighborhood. I love it. I mean the crackheads, no, but I love the neighborhood. Like the neighborhood is cool. Speaking of crackheads, I got no crackhead jokes. I got no crackhead jokes. Ladies and gentlemen, sit a cow on the vo on the mic. Make some noise. Also on the microphone, make some noise for the one and only Serenity. We had some wonderful guests with us earlier. We also had Usty One on the mic. I don't know. Oh, here he is. Usty One, right over there. Yes. And we also had the wonderful William Lucier on the trumpet. Make some noise for William. So for those who have known us for years and years and years and years, we've been hosting a jam session every week since 2014 at the Belmont. And then 2015, we went to Blurry Bar. Then 2017 or 18, we went to Bootlegger. Can't quite remember. 18, you know, you know that he's got the whole timeline. He's got it all figured out. And then of course, uh, March 5th, 2020 was our last normal cypher at the Bootlegger. And uh, we we're like, oh yeah, we'll see how it's going next week. We'll see, we'll come back, you know. Eh, maybe two weeks, you know. That became two years. 
Uh, we had a Canada Council grant, and we did these eight editions of Pitsy Compass. And then we we actually did our new, I don't know any, if anybody here was at our new thing, X2, which is a double-sized band that we did at Pitsy Compass about a month ago. And that will definitely be coming back. Double-sized bands, they got two drummers, two guitars, two everything. And we play all night long without stopping. It's like a DJ night without the DJ. It's just like so all... So get two Advil, you know what you're yeah, doing. Exactly, exactly. Anyway, I mentioned that because it will be coming back. Late July, late July, or early July, early July, not sure. It's a secret, it's a secret. Anyway, it's coming, coming back, it's coming back. Uh, and of course, we're going to be here at DS Halls every last Wednesday of the month doing this, doing this new thing. Yeah, yeah, make some noise for Diaz Halls. Make some noise for Gary, make some noise for the wonderful staff. Yes, yes. Ça fait partie de leur série funk i -er. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> Funkier, funk i funk you were funk. You know all those funk bands that make funk jokes? Like, a band is mother funker and stuff like that. It's like, come on, guys. Like, this is this is when I do This is when I bring the social distancing back, because I don't want to be associated with whatever the fuck it is. What, I, I'm not, is this the first time somebody said fuck tonight? Is that, is that what? I, don't, I just don't. <laughs> I never know where your shit is going, and I don't want people to drag me in. I'm just saying fuck. I'm not saying anything like, you know. Y'all see him on this side, so whatever comes out of his mouth, you sue him. That's not an us thing. See, now it's like, I didn't say it, and then I say it. That's like the cheat way of saying something awful. You know, I didn't say, and I'm not going to say it. Like, no. <laughs> anyway, but it's a pleasure being here at Diaz Halls. I didn't say anything crazy. It's a pleasure being here at Diaz Halls. We're going to be back June, I want to say 29th is the last Wednesday of June. Yeah. So we're going to be back at the end of June. And we got some more stuff coming up. I'll introduce the rest of them. We have got David Osei on the keys. Yes. We got Philip Lavier on the guitar. Le fabuleux Farley beats à la base. Yeah. Anthony Pajot au drum. Yeah. Mon nom c'est Vincent Stevenong. Merci. Yeah. On a ever been so happy to cipher or plaisir d'être là. Try to escape. I did it. Did I escape? Try to oh, escape. Oh shit, I didn't escape. Here we go. We, we gotta fun. shout him out. We gotta give him his due props. So ladies and gentlemen, the guy who we clearly need to start a GoFundMe account for so that he doesn't have to buy his t-shirts at Toys R Us anymore. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that guy is Mr. Stephen R. <laughs> I didn't even know Toys R Us sold t-shirts. This isn't from Toys R Us, this is from Baskin Robbins. This is... Get him out of here. Get him out. He stole my five-year-old son's shirt. I want it back. I want my shirt back. Somebody have an extra shirt for him, I'm taking my son's shirt back. It's a little stretched out now. Just, just a little. Just a well, I'm gonna wash it. There's gonna be no more colors in the shirt. You can't get How much bleach I'm you, gonna use. You can't get these things out. My son is getting a white tee. It's just gonna be white. It ain't, it ain't white anymore. Use so much bleach. It ain't white anymore. I'm gonna use so much bleach. This is the stuff we cut out of the recording. This like a healthcare, like a healthcare nice. amount. Like not that. gonna be. Um. <laughs> um yeah. I, now I just trail off. I got nothing to say. Thank you so much for all of you being here. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I just noticed that. Yeah. Uh, there's the whole. Yes, thank you so much. Have a great night. Get home safe. Merci beaucoup. Merci à Gary. Merci à Gilles. Don't forget to